If we shot. make it. You'll make it. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coastal GX. We're here back at uh, Beach Access number six. We're about to go in. I'm here with Samantha and uh, Carlos right now. He's gonna get another angle. It's really deep, it's really soft this time around. As always, I always lower down the tire pressure. We did that already, but we're gonna give this a try. I just want you to take a look at what we're facing. All these vehicles are getting stuck and Many of them are just turning back and, and their day is being ruined. Seems like you're just not going to have uh, a pleasant experience. We might get stuck. We might get stuck, but we're still going to give it a try. I'm going to keep it in four high right now and we're going to go for it. So here we go. So the, the main deal here is to go keep it straight. Look at this, just like butter just like butter very nice very smooth seems like uh there's some people who are stuck and other people that have two-wheel drive that came in here and uh they did it yeah, with yeah. uh with two-wheel drive but two-wheel drive is not it's just not working for them You just got here? Yeah. Have you seen anybody going back there? I haven't seen anyone go back there. Nah? All right. Well, we don't come back. Well, never mind. You don't come back? I don't see you in, what, an hour? Nah, okay. nah, because we we're going to stay over there all day anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, if we make up. it. You'll make it. Yeah. Let's... Toyota. Yeah. Okay, this is the worst I've ever seen this. And I don't like the way it's going. This is the worst I've ever seen this. Oh, well, I guess we made it here. Now let's see, uh, let's see how it is over here. The interesting thing is that I've been told that this is always changing and you have to be very aware of what you're doing when you're driving around here because you never know what's going on. This is the infamous inlet right here that we're about to cross and uh, it doesn't look bad but I do I can see that there are no tracks. There's absolutely no tracks. So here goes nothing. I think I'm just gonna take a little momentum. I might be uh, overplaying this and it may not be a big deal, but I don't care. Ah, <laughs> not a big deal at all. Let's see what's going on. I didn't see any vehicle tracks, so I was surprised to see people fishing by the jetties. Oh, these are people with boats, that's why. They're not here with their, with their vehicles. <clears throat> They're here with the boats. We set up camp and put our rookie fishing skills to the test. Oh, here we are. <clears throat> and I see nothing is biting. Basically, I just came out here to mess around with a drone and to cast a net for the first time. I've tried everything pretty much. That was a terrible throw. Let's see what happens. I figured the only way to get better is by practicing. So that's what I did. Oh. Damn it. Oh my God, I suck. I suck. The 
see the dolphins? Finally caught something here. Just when I thought my arm was going to fall off, I finally caught something. Yeah. I was able to catch a couple of ladyfish that I used as cut bait. But I wasn't there only to fish. My goal is to truly enjoy the entire experience of camping out and perhaps capture some scenic views. What we're trying to do is we're trying to do some, uh, some experimenting out here with some uh, video equipment. Uh, you remember from my last video, I had gone ahead and I was starting to practice with uh, this drone from my buddy, Gary. I went ahead and, and, and thanks to Gary, you know, that was enough for me to, uh, to uh, actually uh, move forward and actually get a drone for myself, get it nice and registered and uh, so I can be uh, abiding by the law and the rules and I've been reading up on it. I didn't just want to pick up a drone and flying, fly it around just uh, irresponsibly. I wanted to do it the right way. So we're out here and we're gonna be testing out some shots. I already tried it a little earlier and uh, I was getting some trouble. I don't know uh, what the reason for it was, but you know, all the controls were working except that uh, the drone wouldn't move forward and it wouldn't move back, it wouldn't move back. Uh, so it was just panning, tilting, standard stuff like that and uh but it wasn't uh moving in a forward direction or in a, a backward direction so we're gonna give it another try and see if uh see if we don't drop this in the ocean about coming to the East Cut with Coastal GX. You probably won't catch any fish, okay? I've already made up my mind. If you're coming with me, I suck so much at fishing, you're probably not gonna catch anything, okay? I will guarantee you something. You're, you're gonna have some T-bones, okay? If you come with me, you're gonna have T-bones. That I can guarantee. I don't know about the fish part, but you will get some T-bone. So let's get started. So we finally got a chance to relax. It's been go, 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 go since early this morning. And um, so I only have one skillet and the way I prepare these uh, T-bones, it's one at a time so while Samantha is feasting on hers uh, Carlos her boyfriend and I uh, we gotta wait for our turn to eat um, but I'm, I'm savoring it already now this Carlos this is your first time here right yeah, at the East Cut, oh, it is cut yeah, yeah. Well, what did you think uh, it's, the views pretty nice like with the rock formations that you see right here I like that about East Cut the drive over here was definitely an experience <laughs> especially with all all these uh, like obstacles in the way it was nice I would recommend it for sure we had no luck catching fish today but still you know uh, we cherish the the time that we spent out here it's just really really lovely i got to fly the drone i got to fly uh, uh fly the drone there and i got to um, uh, try some new uh, techniques out here uh, i was casting uh, out the net and uh, i was actually able to bring in a couple of fish uh, in one of those casts I'm very proud of myself for doing that. I like my medium. Why? Because next month, mid-October, I'm going to be out here for five days straight. I'm going to be camping out 
if anyone joins me that's fine if not that's fine too but all of these little trips have been um, you know they, they've been I can I guess I can say that they've been uh, enough for me to practice they're good for me to practice to come out here try what works try what doesn't work and uh, so far I've learned so much but I know that there's still much to learn and uh, the only way to figure it out is by actually coming out here um, I'm trying to figure out you know what the weather's gonna be you know the tides where would be the right place to camp out um, today we haven't been molested at all by uh, the tides or or strong winds or anything like that but you know we that hasn't always been the case if you see my first uh, uh, video you'll figure it out I mean sometimes it can get uh, you know pretty uh, uh, scary just like that mother nature out here is very unforgiving so but anyway uh, I'm gonna make it back uh, next week so it's gonna be one more one more visit to the East Cut before that big trip hopefully uh, I'll get to see some of you guys out here if you see my sand colored uh, Lexus GX 460 make sure you say hello so anyway guys we're gonna finish up these steaks and uh, gotta take a break real quick gotta eat first in episode 15 we'll show you what happens when an inexperienced fisherman gets a bite this is exciting whoever was partying here you're a bit of an uh. And the serious trash dumping issue plaguing the East Cut. As always, we thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and like our video if you enjoyed the content.